Hello, it is November 7th. It is 12.48 a.m. I'm waiting for my laundry to be finished. Um, here's the daily leak code. We're on day 12 now. Um, so the problem is um, eliminate maximum number of monsters. Um, it's not very clear, but um, they give you a distance array a speed, and a speed array. And you're trying to determine how many uh, monsters you can shoot while the monsters with distance given are moving at given speed. And as time passes by, they increment and move closer. So let's take this case, for example, one, three, four. So we have a mon this is your house. You have a monster at distance one, uh, di one at three, and one at four. Okay, and what happens is they're all moving at speed of one. So speed one. Okay, you can shoot at time equals zero. So what you take care of the first one first, and three moves here. Four moves here. You can take out three. Kaboom! He's gone. Four moves closer. Four gets killed. Okay, and um, <clears throat> that's the problem and you're trying to find how many monsters you can shoot aka the time that passes so what we take here is um, we actually don't really need this variable we get the monster index which is going to be kind of a counter variable um, and we set it to one because we instantly kill the first monster and what we have is a, an array list that is a double because um, instead of doing two uh, a map or like keeping the array separate, let's combine distance and speed into how long it will take for them to arrive, which is distance over speed. And that is exactly what we do. We get iterate through the array, we add the distance over speed into the array, and we sort it. It's important that we sort it so we prioritize which monsters to shoot. Okay. Now we iterate through again while the monster index, aka the time, is less than the length of the distance. What we do is we check if the the time it takes is less than the time. The, t the time it takes to is less than the time that passes, which means it'll come before um They'll come before the timer, or you kill all the monsters. In which case, we want to return it at that instance. Else, we would just increment it, and at the end, we return it. So, um, as you can see, it's now very optimized. I'll take a moment to look at what's going on and get back to you. Okay, so after some digging, um, here is the best runtime. Um, so instead of uh, what we had before, which was another list and add, doing this adding um, shenanigans and sorting. We just take the distance array and then we just edit it straight, straight there. So we take the distance, subtract by one because I believe this is the initial shot. And then you divide it by speed, you sort it, and you go through it. You make sure it's less than the indices. And then you can finally return it. This is similar to the previous algorithm. And then if it doesn't work, you return the length of the distance, which is the maximum value. And yeah, that's the um, solution for today's lead code. Thank you for watching. I'll see you next time.